Good morning, traders. Today is the 18th of February. This is Brad Matheny. This is the uh, gold and silver update video, the custom metals video for the week of uh, February 18th going into February 24th, roughly. Um, what we're going to do is focus you first on the Mint.com website. If you haven't been here to check out what I do, please do. Um, there's a whole bunch of information that's contained in my expert growth membership software, as well as my fully automated trading solutions for uh, investors and traders that are interested. Uh, I want to point you to the extreme amount of content that you get and guidance that you get. And remember, I'm trying to do this to help you become a better trader. Uh, it's very inexpensive overall. Please come check it out and uh, subscribe if you like the research that I'm doing and can help you out uh, over the long term. That's the goal here is to help you out over the long term to become a better trader and to become a more efficient trader overall. Now, let's get down to the gold chart. This is a weekly gold chart. I predicted back over here as we were rallying that we were going to run into some resistance up above this level or in this level and that I would be expecting a pullback. I drew this many weeks ago indicating that this would be the level of a pullback that I would expect. Essentially, if you take a look at this, ladies and gentlemen, from roughly this high to this low, this is again a weekly gold chart. I've drawn a Fibonacci retracement structure there. You can see 50% is uh, 1862 roughly, uh, 1868 maybe. And a 618 looks like we're going to be down in the 1821 area. Well, we've come down into that 50% retracement. We've bounced off the 618 pullback here. I believe we're going to move into kind of a sideways flagging formation over here. So you can imagine, uh, as I've drawn here across these highs here, potentially establishing a, a, a sideways rotational base out here over the next four, five, six weeks, we would then get into kind of a sideways flagging formation here maybe across this area, and we are likely going to flag out over here. That would mean that we would have an A, B, C, D, E type of pattern, possibly moving out towards the uh, May, June, sorry, the July, August, September uh, end of year rally phase. So gold is going to get very interesting uh, in the sense that we are likely going to be moving into this sideways flagging formation likely hovering around this 1850, 1865 area, maybe a little higher, maybe up into this 1901 area as peaks. But we're basically going to be moving into a uh, basing formation here, I believe, up into a wave. So we have one, two, three, four, try to draw it out. One, two, extended, three, four, then eventually back here, maybe August, September, five breaking out to the upside now we'll see this flag set up and i'll track it for you but at this point i believe the consolidation in gold is over unless we get some sort of a crisis event crisis events will potentially cause gold to move down into these lower channels retest very sharp spike downward and then we'll see some sort of recovery back up into this area and then move higher uh if some crisis event happens that would be global banking, uh, uh, global government crisis, um, wars, anything that, that you know, would send like uh, a shockwave through the market. And then gold typically reacts by moving, you know, 6, 7, 10% lower very sharply on a shock. And then all of a sudden people realize that gold is a great hedge and they load back up on it. The same thing happened back over here with covid hard to see it's off this chart but i'll show you on another chart but be aware that uninterrupted gold cycle would be a flagging formation till july august september and interrupted or uh let's call it a, a shocked uh global market would see gold continue to flag out and then maybe have some sort of a deep pullback down here into the 17 1750 area maybe a bit lower but this is a good area for a shock type of move and then it'll re recover stall out a bit and then really start to move higher so let's go to the custom metals trend index 
You can see we've come right off of this peak, rolled back downward. We're right in the middle of this flagging formation here. So you can see this dashed line right across here, which is the close. This is technically support, ladies and gentlemen, which is why if we take a look at this support level here and pay attention to these lower support channels here and here and across back over here, you can see that this area down in here, uh, call it uh, 4, uh, 410, 411, is really ultimate support. Seeing, that, seeing as though we've seen this big rally phase here, I think we're going to flag back out and I will continue to draw this as it forms, but we're going to form into another flag here, kind of like this. So we rallied up, we formed into a flag, we broke out of the flag, and then we moved into this strong consolidation downtrend uh, in 2022. Same type of scenario here, but this time I think we're going to resolve to the upside. We're going to, we've set up this deeper consolidation phase. We're going to consolidate into this extended flagging, maybe six, seven, eight months, maybe longer. Then we're going to break out to the upside, and I think that's going to come around uh, July, August, September. So let's go back to here. This is a daily gold chart, and I've drawn this box. This is where I think we're going to stay in the consolidation range uh, as we flag out. Again, I will update you as we move forward. I'm not expecting any big recovery. Gold is not going to shoot straight back up to 2,100. The big move is going to come in the second half of 2023 or in 2024. We need to be very aware that this is going to be a very great uh, big accumulation range, especially if it breaks down into this 17, 1760, 1740 area. Still technically support, ladies and gentlemen. So understand that we are just in a consolidation flagging formation that, that is in an early stage setup, very likely off of this channel here. Moving down, finding support, moving up, finding resistance, moving down, finding support, and then eventually breaking out in this July, August, September area. Next, <clears throat> we have the Custom Metals Trend Index. This is a great example of uh, where we're at. And uh, you can see we had a big move here. And I've shown this to you before, how we get these, uh, uh, these uh, uh, basically 4,000 uh, point moves. I'll do the math again real quick from uh, uh, 8,500 roughly to uh, 13,000. So that's about 4,500 points, call it 4,000 point move. Well, now we've had this move up. We've consolidated back down. We've had a move from 10,000 to, uh, to 1,250. We need to see this move roughly up to 1,350, maybe 1,400. But in order to do that, we have to consolidate into the flag formation first. And you can see right here, kind of did the same thing. We had the impulse move up, flagged out right across here, then broke out and finished the move up to this high. This is what we'd be looking at next. From these lows, if these lows hold at, say, 11,500, the next target up here is 13,500 to 14,000. So we would be looking at a, uh, a roughly 2,500 point move on the custom metals index initiating sometime in July or August, which means we need to be aware and get ready for the move. In the meantime, we're going to have a lot of rotation in gold and silver. Really good opportunities if you're a stacker like me to buy into lower price channels before this next move happens. Next, the commodity to gold index. Great roll over here at the right side of the chart. This is exactly what we want to see uh, in a deflationary cycle. So uh, this is perfect. The Fed may continue to uh, uh, pause and, and weaken on rate hikes. I still believe we've got a couple more uh, 25 basis point rate hikes to go. But understand that um, this is a great move for a deflationary cycle trend. And that's again, what is driving the uh, cycle of gold. Right now we're kind of in a wait and see. We need to see how this year plays out. The other thing I wanna point out is this is a, the beginning of a presidential election cycle uh, year, this year and 2024. Presidential election cycle years typically flag out and are very uh, consolidated. So we're in the early stage right now, a lot of indecision uh, going on, and that's probably going to cause the markets for the next year or two uh, to basically stay 
semi-tight, semi-consolidated, um, with a potentially 11 to, say, 20% range for the S&P and the NASDAQ, maybe a bit more. Overall, I think it's going to have a bullish bias. I think it's going to overall trend upward after the pullback in 2022. Uh, but again, this is deflationary. We love this. This is perfect. This sets up a big, broad cycle trend for a bigger move, kind of like we saw in uh, 2009, 10, 11 for gold. Eventually, it'll come, but it's not going to come probably until 2028. Uh, or 2029. So we need to be aware that we're in a very early um, uh, reflation stage. We're kind of like searching for a bottom. We need to be aware that the opportunities just aren't here yet for a big move in gold. Okay, the gold custom cycle index monthly chart. Uh, we're getting this basing bottoming formation again. Could very well be like this or could very well be like this, kind of just basing back down into these lows over the next four or five months, maybe six, seven months into the end of 2023. That would be fine with me. That means that we are gonna be able to accumulate uh, gold. We are gonna be able to stack our favorite uh, coins or bars in preparation for what's coming in three or four years. Uh, but again, this is early stage accumulation we're seeing. I drew these many, many months ago and I, I mentioned last week, I may have been a little overly aggressive pointing this to the upside. But this is great. We're seeing uh, early stage accumulation at this point. And as long as gold stays range bound, which I believe it will for the next four or five months, you're going to see this stay in this lower channel, eventually moving back to the upside when there's some real um, fear in the market and some real uh, revised accumulation. So right now we're seeing moderate accumulation staying off of these lows. Uh, but we're seeing uh, essentially gold is going nowhere uh, and it's going to trade within a range. So we have that flagging formation. As I mentioned to you over here, we have that flagging formation. We're going to set up a base probably above 1800 and then move off of that into an upward trend over here into maybe March, April. That would be a good uh, move. And then we're going to move into a downward cycle trend again back probably over here in June. And then eventually in July or August, we will apex into a wave five, uh, apex flag, apex formation, and then move higher. And that'll be the next move that puts us up here in this 21, 2200 area. And that's about what we're looking at for gold. So remember, you can trade this range. This is a decent range, 1800 to 1920. It's a very good range for you to be able to trade these rotations. Uh, and that's what's coming at Mint.com with my gold cycle patterns. Okay, guys, that's it for now. I'm going to get back to the other videos. Remember, come back to Mint.com. Check out what I do. Log in, create your account, support my research, get into the expert growth membership page and start following along. I'm doing all of this to help you guys become better traders. And uh, if you weren't following me on Twitter last week, boy, we had a, we had a really good run. Uh, I'm getting uh, messages. In fact, let me show you here. I'm getting messages from people that is, uh, that is, uh, let's see here. Well, this is a, a portfolio from one member, and this is not the video I wanted to show you, but uh, hold on, the, the image. Here we go. This was one member's one week total trading the SPY uh, and the Bitcoin. I mean, just lovely. 711% in one week, $4,400 in one week in profit. Just lovely. And this guy is, is really, he knows what he's doing. He's a pretty skilled trader. Um, he's a disabled vet. I'm trying to help him out. He helps out other vets as well. Uh, but this is what happens when you build the skills and you can you learn to take my information uh, and use it to become better informed, then you can pull weeks out like this trading you know, two or three times a day or once or twice a day if you wanted to, you can really see some incredible success. And we're going to start doing some live events here soon. So be aware that uh, I'm going to start doing some live events with members showing you what's going on. And I've also created this chart in TradingView, which is to help you learn to become better traders. So this is designed to help you uh, see what I see, uh, trade like I uh, trade, 
learn how to uh, use this as a uh, skilled solution for uh, trading the market trends when they set up. Okay, guys, on to the next video.